Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to the Sudoku Takeout Pack we're calling Something Irregular, which is a set of 12 puzzles, may make it 13, we'll see, um, based on the same irregular grid. This is Green Spider, which is our exploration of German Whisper on this grid. And uh, we really had a lot of fun playing with this one and figuring out what we could do. So hopefully you're enjoying the pack so far. Of course, there'll be a link below to where you can try this puzzle and download the entire pack for yourself. Um, let's have a look at the rules and then give this one a try. So what do we have? We have normal irregular Sudoku rules apply. So in every row, in every column, and into every one of these irregular shaped regions, we have to place the digits one to nine without repetition. Now, this is using the same irregular grid as we're using in every pack uh, puzzle in this pack. So um, all of these regions have the same shape. Um, and then um, we've got German whispers. So adjacent digits on a green line must have a difference of at least five. So a difference of at least five here, difference of at least five here, difference of at least five, difference of at least five. They're the rules of the puzzle. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So you can see why we called it Green Spider. It's got eight legs and then there's the body of digits in the middle. We really thought this one came out well. So, of course, we're starting with the same sort of irregular deduction, but we need to understand something about German Whisper first. So, first of all, can you ever put a five on a German Whisper puzzle and the ant or a German Whisper line? You can in the puzzle, you can't on a line. Why? Because in order to have a five difference, you either have to add or subtract five or more. And if we add five or more to five, we'd end up at 10 or higher. And if we subtract, we'd end up at zero or lower. Non-valid Sudoku digits can only go next to a five. You can't do that. So every digit on a green line must either be above five or below five. And you can't put two digits of and we call those polarities, high-low polarity, you can't put two digits of the same polarity next to each other because the maximum difference is three. One, two, three, four have a maximum difference of three between one and four. Six, seven, eight, nine have a maximum of a difference of three between the six and the nine. So you always must put next to each other the different polarity, which means as you move along the line, you will alternate. So if this is high, this would be low, this would be high, this would be low. And the important thing about those is they can't be the same digit, but we know that those two digits are those two digits. So we know this digit must go here and this digit must go here. Therefore, this is a three. This now must be five different from three, making it eight, nine. This must be a low digit and it can't be three or four. This will be one, two. This must be a high digit, six, seven, eight, or nine. Now, I think it can be any of them, but we can repeat that logic in all of them. This digit and this digit can't be the same high low. So this digit goes here, this digit goes here, making that a six. There's only one digit that is five away from six out of one, uh, one through nine. That's a one. This must be a high digit. It can't be a six or a seven. It's an eight or a nine. Uh, this must be a low digit and it can't be a one. Therefore, this is two, three or four and it can't be a two. So this is a three or a four. We can do the same trick here. These must be different. So that digit goes there. So that digit goes there, making that a seven, which means this has to be a one or a two. This must be a high digit without being a six or a seven. It's an eight or a nine. This is a low digit. It can't be a two. So it's one, three or four. And here we've got the same thing. That digit can't go there because of the alternating polarity. That digit goes there. So that digit goes there. That becomes the four. This becomes the nine. If this is a nine, this is a low digit that isn't three or four. It's one or two. This is a high digit that's not nine. It's six, seven, or eight. And it's not seven because it sees a seven. Now, can we do any more eliminations on that at this point? I am actually not sure. <laughs> we will get there eventually, I'm sure. So the next question I want to ask is about this line. 
we've already got three high digits in this box. So could those be high? Because remember, we'd have to go high, low, high, or low, high, low. If those were high, we'd have five high digits in that region, and it doesn't work. So these are low and are from one, two, three, four. Well, both of those see four. This one sees a three as well. So we've got those. This must be a high digit and must be the eight or nine. <coughs> Pardon me. Similarly, over here, we've got three low digits. So could those be low? No, because we'd have to have five digits in that region from one, two, three, four. But one, two, three, four is only four digits. So these are high digits, six, seven, eight, nine. The six sees both of those. Those are from seven, eight, nine. Um, not, uh, and that one can't be a nine because it sees this. This has to be the low digit and the only low digits available are one and two, giving us a one, two pair in the, um, in the row. Now we can look at this. Well, this digit sees one, two, three, and four. So this is high. So this is high, six, seven, eight, nine. This can't be six. This one can't be... Uh, I'm not sure, but this is low and it's not three or four. So this is one or two, giving us a one, two pair. And in this one, we've got three high digits. So these must be low, one, two, three, four. Um, this one can't be a four because it sees a four. Um, this must be a high digit, which isn't six or seven. This is eight or nine. And we get the high low of all of the lines simply by using the geometry of the irregular. Now, if this is a six, this has to be a three or a four because that digit has to go here. This digit has to go here. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. It sees a six. So neither of those can be six. This is the four. So this is the six, eight. And if this is the seven, this is one, three, four, and it can't be four. So none of those can be four. This is a one, three. Okay, we're continuing to use the geometry of the puzzle. Now this gets a little bit more tricky, I think. I don't remember how, but I think it gets a little bit more tricky. Okay. I wish I could remember how, but I don't, and I'm going to have to solve the puzzle. Oh no, I'm going to have to solve the puzzle. So four in this row, maybe? Yeah, maybe not. So this digit is in one of those. Well, if this is a three, it's not going in any of those, but it could go in there. If it's a one, If that's a three, three is in one of those, and that's a one. One in this box isn't in any of those. It's in one of those. Well, this isn't a one. It's a two or a three because of that one looking across. The one, two. Ah, oh, the three is looking down, making that the four which means this is a nine because um, nine is the only digit that's five away, but that makes this a four. Because four, six, four, six. Now four is in one of those, but it can't be there or there. So four is in one of those two. Four is not in any of those. Four is in one of those two. Four in this region is in one of those two. And that is an X-wing on fours. So where is four? Yeah, that's an X-wing on fours. I can't put four in any of those. I can't put four in any of those. I can't put four in any of those. So in these two rows, the fours have to be taken up by those cells. So if this was a four, both of those would have to be four. That's not a four. That's a four. So I've now got one, two, three, four. These are five, seven, eight, nine. So this is five, seven, eight. Five is in one of those two. Might be something on fives. Oh, 
of the nine makes that the eight, which of course means that's not the four because four and eight are only four apart. That's the four, meaning that's not the four, that's the four. That digit is one of those three, that's not it. But three is not in any of those now. Three is in one of those two. That's six or eight, that's six or eight. Those are the same digit. So those are the same digit. That digit is in here. Five is in one of those two because I can't put five in any of those, which is looking up saying five isn't there, so five is in one of those two. And of course, five is in one of these, so five can't be there. Five is in one of those two, because I can't put five on a line. So there's a lot of digits, places that can't be five. Three in this row can't be here, can't be repeat in the region, can't be there. It's in one of those two. These are one, two, three, and four. Oh, these are one. Yeah, three must be on this line because these are from one, two, three, five, but I can't use three. So these are from one, two, five. That's not a one. So that's only a two or a five. Nine in this row can't be here and it can't be in any of those. Nine is in one of those two. So nine in this row is in one of those two. So that's the eight, that's the nine. That can't be a nine because of the eight, nine pair. So eight in this row now has to be here because I can't put eight in any of those. I've got an eight in a region. Can't put eight in any of those because they're down here. I've already got eight in this box. This is the eight, which is looking up, making that the six, which makes that the six, but on the whisper line makes that the one, which makes that the two, which means this can't be a six because it's too close to the two. So six in this box now, can't be in any of those, can't be on the whisper line. That's the six. And there must be a five in here now to put a five in the region. So that's not the five. That's the five, looking across, making that the two. So none of these are two. This is actually the five, and this is a one, three pair. But the two is looking across, making that the three. So this is a one or a two. But the one, three is looking across, making that the two, that the one, which is making that the three, that the one, that the three, which is that digit making that the three, The eight is looking up saying that's not the eight. That's not the eight because of the eight in here. The one is looking up making that the two, which makes this the one. The seven and the eight are looking up making that the nine. So there's no nine there. So this row is missing. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I've got a nine. So this is five, seven, or eight. And let's see what to do there. Six is in one of those. Yeah, where's six in this region? It can't be in any of those. It's not there, and that six is saying not there. That's the six, and now I'm only missing two digits in this row. Two, three, four, two, and five. Okay, that's an X-wing on fives, but I'm not sure what to do with that. I'm missing only two digits in this row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. And the nine is looking down, making that the seven, that the nine. The seven is looking up, making that the five, which takes five out of there. But the five is looking down, making that the two, and that the five. The nine is looking up, taking nine out of there. Put five in one of those two, maybe not. So this column 
is missing one. I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So these are one, seven, eight. So that's a seven, eight, because I've already got a one in the region. This is the one. These are a seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are five and six, and the six is looking across, making that the five, that the six. So the five is looking across saying, that's not the five, that's the five. This is seven, eight, nine, but it can't be a nine. So that's seven, eight. So the seven, eight pair makes that the nine. This row now has seven, eight. There's no two in the row. So that's the two. The seven, eight is that digit. So that can't be a nine. And that's a seven, eight pair in this column. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are three and nine. And the nine is looking across, making that the three and that the nine. There's a seven, eight pair in this row. This row doesn't have its one. So the one, four, six, nine means this is the one which, can, which works because these have to be one, four, six, nine. These are those digits. I'm not sure if I can actually use that at this point. I think they're just locked anyway because these are three, five, seven, and eight. So these are three, five, seven, eight. I have to put five in one of those. So these are five, seven, and eight. Well, there's no seven there. So seven is in one of those two. That's five or eight. The one is looking across, making that the two. Whoops. No, 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 no. The one is looking across, making that the two. Five and eight come out of there. Oh, the three comes out as well. That's the seven. So there's no seven in any of those. The five comes out of those. Where's three in this column? Three can't go there and three can't go there. That's the three. This is a five, eight. The eight is looking up, making that the five and that the eight, which makes that the seven, which makes that the eight, which makes that the seven, which makes that the eight, which makes that the seven. Taking seven out of those, this is a five, eight pair. Cool. The seven looks across, making that the eight, making that the seven. Now I've got pairs all over the place. This is an eight or a nine for the column. One, I need two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, these are two and six. So the six makes that the two and that the six. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are four and five. And the four makes that the five and that the four. The five makes that the eight and that the five. The eight makes that the nine and that the eight. And these are what's not in the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and nine, and the nine makes that the one and that the nine. 16 minutes and nine seconds. So yeah, I really liked the way those having to be different um, polarities forced the lines. And then just with those eight little whisper lines, and then the, what was it, nine given digits, this grid was able to resolve incredibly cleanly. I think this irregular grid does a lot of work, particularly with the fact that these had to be the same, which were resolved kind of with another digit, forced the high low on these little lines, and then it just did a lot of work. Um, I don't think any of these puzzles have like stunning mind blowing logic, but they're really good examples of how you can use a constraint on a, on the grid, I think. And we had a lot of fun setting them and I hope you have a lot of fun solving them. Thank you everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving. <laughs>